of the crops that you mentioned, rice, yep. corn, soybeans, that's what we're growing in Arkansas. And so in, um, as of um, 2007, there were 11,461 11, farmers in the state, about 23% of the farmers in the state, that receive an average combined total of $713 million in subsidies for rice, corn, and soybeans, which are sold as commodities and not to directly feed our residents. So this is another way where policy, small policy, policy shifts the, the nitty-gritty, the boring parts of the farm bill become really important. Like the clause in the food stamp act that Adrian was talking about, if you go back and read it, it's tiny. It's like this huge Mongo long document, but it's in <coughs> one paragraph that like the enabling conjunction makes it possible for this program to happen. So this is where little shifts make a big difference in that like, if we can work on not, we can focus our energy on growing local food systems and leave aside the argument about like breaking down big ag. Because I think that that's part of what we try to balance in, uh, within our conversations with Feed Fayetteville. Big ag has enough of its own problems. It's top heavy, it's not sustainable. That's not our issue. Growing healthy local food systems that come up from within, that's what we're walking towards and that's our issue. And so, um, that angle, Melissa, is something that we are really focusing on at Dig In. The films that we've chosen are very much about what do we do. And we all know what we shouldn't do, what we don't want to do, but what do we do? How do we get involved? What do we do personally? How can we affect these changes? And one of the films, to go on what you were saying on the GMOs, uh, King Corn. It's an older film, but it's it's fascinating that the young man and the filmmaker, he gets himself tested by a scientist to see what is the source of the carbon in his body. And the guy comes back with a thing and says, it's corn. And so that leads on their adventure to find out where is this corn. So when I saw that scene in the movie, I'm like, you know, the GMO thing came into a, a totally new thing in my head of that we are going to be built, literally, our bodies out of something a guy at Monsanto made you yeah. know, that has not been tested in the larger natural system. That was a very sobering moment in the film where I was like, oh my God. You know, one of the things that I tell people is that, uh, along those lines, is that, um, you know, I, when I was growing up, there were stuff that was coming from China was considered sort of cheap, breakable stuff. And um, one of the things that we're doing, is our animals are actually being fed plastic pellets it's stuff that they put all kinds of incredible stuff in the animal feed. And, um, and when you think about it, so that's what our bodies are made out of. And our children are made out of our bodies. So we are making our children out of cheap plastic parts. <laughs> and they're going to run. And so that kind of brings home to people to say, wow, what are we doing? And